through where the head was. So we're at 38 minutes, but I did say we were just going to push on to the end. We're okay, right? According to my sensors, we're close to the core. There's no turning back now, except there's a gate there. <laughs> so we absolutely could turn back now. Uh, there is no save point beyond a point of no return, I believe. There is a way to arrive here without the gate or save point being present. Oh, this has its own chapter, Dream's End. I believe if you ride the Epoch to 1999, you skip the entire outside of the shell, you just end up here without the save point or um, the gate. Because you just crash the Epoch through his shell or something. Or maybe you like warp inside him. Anyway, here's what I'm going to call Lavos Phase 2. You might prefer the number 3 or the number 12. At last, you meet your end, Lavos. This is the real thing? Amazing, it possesses the DNA of every organism that's ever dwelt on this planet, or in this planet, or something. Laser beams open the doors, or arms open the doors to oblivion. Okay, it does some damage. See, guides will say that you should, like, keep in mind that one of the arms has more health than the other and try to kill them at the same time, because, um, there's an on-death attack that I believe might only go on if you don't kill the arms at the same time or something, and, um, it actually removes immunity to status ailments. But I'm just gonna attack and hope I don't get wrecked by status ailments. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do what I would do if I didn't already have advanced knowledge. Okay, left arm's dead. Oh, okay, life grip, armor drive, spotty. Actually, maybe it's not a Okay, curse, disable status ailment and immunity. Or maybe it's an attack that an arm will only use if the other arm is dead. Because it didn't seem to come from the dead arm. I knew there was something about killing the arms to not have that happen. Okay, now the other arm is dead. Luca's the only one that can be status affected. Dark will. I don't know how potent this is gonna be. Okay, not two. Luca got chaosed. Oh, I forgot how much damage reduction was on attacks that are a result of chaos. Umbral Embrace. Deals barely any damage. I guess I did buy a bunch of remedies or panaceas, whatever they are called, for this very moment. Oh. Luca isn't chaosed anymore. Yeah, just turbo ether. Don't even think about the quality of ether you're using. No, oh, barrier should have gone on robo. I was figuring since Luca needed to spend a turn getting MP, we would have the other two characters do support actions while waiting for the next Omega Flare opportunity. Evil Emanation raises Lavos's attack. If it doesn't raise your magic attack as well, I don't care. But it might. We're fast! Dark Will? Alright. That chaos status again. I guess in this game, do magic attacks break chaos status? That must be why Luca got unconfused. Oh, I think Luca's poisoned now. That's fine. Poison, I think, deals like barely any damage. Yeah, 29? Who even cares? This 
status effects trying to be relevant for the last possible time in the game. He's <laughs> just using a Mega Elixir for MP, but that's just high ether. We may have like more Mega Elixirs than we could possibly like want to use in the rest of the game. But that's no reason to actually use them, right? Something like that. Oh, we won the fight. I might Mega Elixir at the start of the next battle just for MP. Cause now like more of the party needs MP, I think. Alright, levels phase three. Now I understand. It lives on a planet for as long as possible, selecting the most desirable life forms, allowing them to advance, then harvesting their DNA. The young it gave birth to on Death Peak must have all of that DNA. Eventually they'll migrate to other planets and repeat the cycle. It's a parasite, sleeping within the Earth all this time, stealing all our progress. His offensive capabilities are incalculable. My sensors are overheating. We were but sown for him to reap all of humanity, or rather all life on this planet. Impossible. You can't toy with an entire world and think I'll let you get away with it. That was just Mega Elixir for MP. Uh, maybe Barrier Robo, because he has the worst magic defense. Maybe Protect Luka arbitrarily, I don't know what else to do. Temporal Shift. The Temporal Shifts basically just warn you what the next attack he's gonna use is, but I don't actually remember what any of the ones are. Okay, well, it's Omega Flare. Um, it's one thing that's notable is, uh, the boss in the middle there is actually, er, yeah, the thing in the middle there is actually a bit of a red herring. Grandstone, ultimate physical attack. Uh, the true boss is on the right, but having the middle down stops a number of, oh. Stops a number of attacks. I think if we lose this battle, I am just gonna finish next time, instead of trying to push for finishing this time. How much damage did Grand Grandstone do? Unholy Light, slow. We are immune to statuses, but that might finish off Magus anyway. Yeah, Robo clearly needs to heal. I have enough reviving items. Wow. Didn't realize how fast Lavos 3 was. I think I may have made basically no progress in the fight so far due to the healing of the uh, one on the left to the one in the middle. Okay. I would like it if Luca could get Magus alive and then Robo heals. No, except Luca's dead. I think the only way to heal somebody with more or rather, the only way to revive someone with more HP is, um, Marl's Life 2. Oh, I'm surprised Robo can stand up to the ultimate magical attack. I guess he does have Shell on. Oh, Luka dead again. Alright, 
This is silly. I don't know if Robo can win the fight on his own. He might have to try taking out the middle on his own, though. Alright, he's gonna half my current HP. Okay, there's no way Robo takes out the middle on his own. I don't know, maybe knowing that the HP having was coming up, it would have actually been a good time to revive people. Twelve revives left. Alright, both the side guys just took their turn. If Luka gets a turn, it's gonna be Mega Elixir. Or, no, she should still try to revive, I think. But then Robo Mega Elixirs or something. I guess Robo gets the turn first? No. Oh. Okay, fine. Just always kill whoever I revive immediately. Okay, this does damage. Magus is dead again. Yeah, I think this is the lost fight. Yep. There it goes. Oh yeah, unique game over screen. That's what I wanted to show. <coughs> I don't know, might have just gotten unlucky with the initial attack? I think it just did like far too much damage. Okay, direct impact on truce. There's damage all over the map. Here, uh, the, the town names, whatever they were. Okay, Directory, we've got incoming. Evacuate to the Shelter Dome. Directory, you must come with us. There's no time. Get moving. Yes, sir. Dots, Lavos. Yeah, I think I'll take one more try this episode, actually. Bang, 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 bang. All of the land in the world is on the same half of the globe. In the end, the future refused to change. Hmm. Can I actually just resume? Where does that put me? Okay, it still puts me here. I wasn't sure if it would put me between phases. Need to use the shelter again because I didn't actually load my game. All right. The attack might wipe people out. <coughs> yeah, is Luca dead? No, okay. Really? See, there's no way to defend in this game. The command simply doesn't exist. Alright, get people topped off. Try to prepare for the big attack. I think his bag is still goes on the offensive. Okay, here's Grandstone. Okay, people survived it.
I'll need to pay attention to when people stop glowing yellow. Also, Luca's still in a lot of trouble. Everyone's in a lot of trouble except Robo. Temporal shift to the same place? I think I just... Oh, a lapis might have done it. In that case, Robo didn't need the heal, but I, w I was panicking a little. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have wasted Mega Elixirs earlier. Since I do basically, like, need one after a Grand Stone, I think. What is that sound? Does it always make that sound? Anyway, I'm not concerned about healing the one on the left, because it doesn't actually need to die. Oh, wait. He's using Unholy Light? Did I, like, misread the era? We still need to keep our HP up, so we're gonna see Flare and Dark Matter a lot. We get all our MP whenever we use an Elixir to heal. Okay, everybody's gonna get their HP cut in half. That deals less than Grand Stone. Yeah, right now I'm mostly looking to get the middle killed. It'll give me some time to target the one on the right for some actual damage. I guess I am at least dealing a little to it as I AoE. Robo's got a 9. See, I don't remember which attack happens at the fairgrounds. Oh wait, no, this isn't the fairground. Is it? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, we killed the middle. Nice. Counter employed when center pod not present. Oh, the score lowers its defenses. Level score preparing resurrect, defense down. So the middle's gonna come back, but for now we get to just hit it. I'm gonna try an Omega Flare, actually. Oh. <laughs> Apparently we're Omega Flaring the middle again. Oh! The one on the right is still missing its defense. Oh, uh, maybe I should have healed there. <coughs> I guess for MP purposes, it's time for a Mega Elixir anyway. Oh, the one on the right's still taking a bunch of damage. Nice. Let's see, Protect is still up. Oh no. Magus is down. Just gonna hold Luca's turn. Or Luca's also down. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Alright. So we need to be slightly stronger. Uh, can I skip this in any way? Well, I can just close the game with the X in the corner. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this part. In the next part, I'm gonna just try to re-equip and go back in, but I think if that fails again, I'll try to level up more. Or something. See ya!